88 University Avenue assignments. Assignments for sale at 488 University Avenue, Toronto. Hello everyone, Yossi Kaplan here, Toronto Real Estate Agent Mortgage Broker with Search Realty and Search Mortgage. Uh, today I want to show you about an assignment I have for sale at 488 University. It is a beautiful, beautiful unit. We got just got the keys. The view is amazing. It's facing south. I'm going to take you on a tour of 488 University and this assignment. Now this is just the one I'm going to talk about it today, but there are other assignments of course in at 48 University and in the city itself. If you want to know more about the assignments, go to my various sites and links. You can find all about them, okay? Uh, there's lots of links about assignments everywhere, especially if you go here, uh, urbanrealtytoronto.com, my main site, scroll to the bottom, and you'll find the assignment link. will take you to the assignment database, but there are others. Uh, today, I'm going to focus exclusively on 48 University Avenue condos. I'm going to skip everything else. Uh, if you've seen me before, you've seen my videos, uh, thank you very much for coming back. If it's your first time, Yossi Kaplan. I sell condos downtown Toronto. I help investors buy, sell, assign, rent, lease their condos, their properties. We basically put portfolios together for investors that want to have alternative means of income and to secure their future. Um, today we're going to talk about this unit here that one of my clients uh, purchased and now we're rolling it forward. So this is the floor plan. It's called the Collins floor plan. It's 544 square feet as per the developer. When you come in, they got a little foyer. There's a bathroom with a lovely uh, bathtub you'll see in a second. The master bedroom. It's, it's a small unit, but it's ample. Uh, here's the kitchen. It's got a huge balcony. It's eight feet, eight feet uh, across uh, wide here and about 13.5, 13 and a half feet across. It's a really, really nice balcony. I've been on it. Okay, so the, the balcony itself is 108 square feet and 544 for unit itself. Uh, that's a mistake. It's facing south, high floor. It did get 7680 in upgrades, and it's ready. It's ready July. It's, we got the keys in October, so slightly uh, after that. Uh, this is on YossiCapital.com. Good thing I'm doing this live video. I'll, I'll fix that. So University Avenue, you can see here that section that was of University Avenue, uh, that it's an existing building, existed before. And here I'm going to jump to Yorkville Luxury Real Estate.com, which is another one of my sites at the 488 University. Just put in the search 488 University, and you'll see, you'll find it here. Um, this building was put on top of an existing building. So if you remember, um, I have a map open here. If you remember the old building at uh, Dundas, right here with the TTC at Dundas University, uh, there's an old building uh, which was, had the CIBC in it, and it had 18 stories. On top of these 18 stories, they built a whole bunch more, and it goes up to 55 now, if I'm not mistaken. So the first residential floor will be up there on the 19th floor. I have a picture. I'll open it for you in a second. Um, we can actually go in a time machine here and here. There you go, April 2009. So you remember this building? It had only 18 stories. Uh, now... It was uh, put 2018, boom. It's a four-year gap, but once you jump to 2018, ah, that's the old building. And on top, what you get is you get, so if I move this little guy here, maybe I'll be able to see a little bit from farther away. Ah, now I went back in time again. Okay, so that's the building. The nice thing about this building is you getting... I kind of squeezed out now. I'll go back here. Um, what's happened here is that you are getting the subway access to 488 University, the subway access right there. So you're in the building where the subway is, which is very, very important. Now, this is the University Avenue subway. Okay, you can see M, M for Metro right here. So that's very, very important because that means you can be a Union Station in two stops. Okay, Osgood, St. Andrew, and then you squeak it into Union right down here. Okay. So that is the union, that's the loop, and then it comes up on uh, Young Street, of course. It's making a loop down here somewhere under the Fairmont, the Royal York Hotel. Okay, so that's where we are. Now, why this is important? Of course, it's important because all the hospitals of Toronto, all the main hospitals and the government are here. So you can see this University Avenue here, and you can see that it is quite pronounced, especially on the west side of University all the large buildings, but you will see, and this is Young and Bay along here, it's going to get 60 and 80 stories. Before you know, it's going to be so big. And here in University, 
um, this subway line runs under here, it's a little less utilized. So you can actually get on the subway here with a, it's a lot less traffic on the subway. You can jump on the subway. And of course, if you work in, in um, Queens Park, if you work in uh, the Yorkville area down here, if you work in any of these massive, massive hospitals, okay, uh, this is Mount Sinai. It's huge. There's thousands of people coming in here every day. Uh, and any of these hospitals around, this is the Mars Discovery Center. There's the Cardiac Center here. I think this is the one here. And you got uh, the Sick Kid Hospital. All these hospitals are here. Okay. So if you're working in any of this, is the U.S. Consulate. Um, if you are working here, there's also a lot of banking, commerce, uh, the city, the city of Toronto is right here. So if you're any any of these areas here, any of these areas here, uh, the people that work here, they're busy, busy executives, and they need a place to live, and they need a place to to, uh, to crash. Now, if you're working in any of these very, very busy areas here, you're making a lot of money, you're probably making $200,000 or more, you know, a surgeon would probably make, a th I don't know, half a million or a million dollars a year, I think some of these guys make easily, and uh, God bless them, you know. Um, and there's a lot of people here that are working in these towers and make a lot of money. There's also a lot of companies that are sending their executives here uh, for education, for training, for lecturing. A lot of doctors come to Toronto because we have some of the best doctors in the world, and I'm so proud of it. And we have some of the best medicine in the world, and I'm so proud of it. And uh, anyone can walk into a hospital in this country and get service, and I'm so proud of it. I'm so happy to be here, and I hope that all of you are. Um, but you are a doctor, and you're coming either to train, whether you're from Canada or not, from Ontario or not, from another country or not, it doesn't matter. What matters is that you're going to need a place to live, and there's almost nothing going on in terms of condos. Uh, there's the RCMI, uh, and maybe a couple old ones, but that's it. There's nothing going on. And there you go, 488 University is a brand new building that just got the keys, and it looks, uh, the resemblance to, to the design is actually very, very good. And I've been to the units, they're fantastic. Uh, it's really nice. Some of these units are just phenomenal. And uh, we have one assignment here, which is the one bedroom. It's called the Collins model. It's 544 square feet with this huge balcony. And this one's available for sale. So let's take some. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, this is the view, the picture that I took from the balcony. So it's a panorama on the left and the right. So that's really a straight line. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous view. Now you, I can't tell you exactly the, the unit number or the floor because that's against the rules of selling the assignment. I can tell you pretty high up. And don't forget that because the first 18 floors are commercial stories, they're very, very high. That means that on the 40th floor of this building, it kind of fills out in the 50th floor. And on the 30th floor of this building, kind of fills you on the 40th floor. <clears throat> because each of these commercial stories, <clears throat> you know, the main ones usually 18 to 20, and then <clears throat> commercial stories, they could be 13 to 18 feet each. So you're gaining, you know, we we used to uh, residential floors at uh, 8 feet 6 or 9 feet ceiling, sometimes 10, um, but those are commercial. So so each, each of these uh, commercial floors counts like maybe a floor and a half. So if you have uh, 18 floors, of commercial, it's maybe like 30 floors of residential. So you know, when you sit 20 on top, it's already like 50 in another building. I'm not sure the exact height, but it gives you an idea. Because I was also quite impressed when I got up there and I realized that I'm not even uh, at the very top of the building, but it kind of felt like it because it was so high up. So that's St. Patrick down there. And you can see a lot of these old buildings that you can live in are very, very old. They have no balconies. They're kind of stuffy no light in the rooms. Uh, those are better for the students and, you know, for people with uh, lesser of means. And once the new condo comes in, uh, you can stay here. Now, the amazing part is across the street at 481 University, 481, uh, they're selling these units already for $1,800 a foot. I'm not joking you. So 500 square feet across the street, you're going to have to spend about $800,000, maybe more, for 500 square feet. Uh, this unit here is much, much less. Here's the lobby. This is the lobby. So you actually, on the floor of the lobby, which is the ceiling of the old building. So you can see here, I'm literally just lining up with the top. This is just the lobby. So I come up, and that's a sky lobby. There's also huge, on the same floor, huge amenities. There'll be a pool. I had a peek. Really nice. 
And this is this is some pictures of the unit itself. Now the unit uh, when we came, this is the, from the PDI. He still had some stuff in it, and he wasn't a hundred percent finished. And also this picture, it's just the way they are. I haven't uh, photoshopped them or anything, so I haven't even color corrected them. So you know, excuse those, but it gives you a good idea. There was some stuff in there still, but all that's gone now. I have the keys in my possession. I was really impressed with all the work they've done there. I really like to meet some of the people that were working on site. And they were super, super nice to us. Um, and you can tell it was a very good vibe in the building. I really liked it. People were excited to be there. They were excited about this location. I mean, you literally uh, steps from the AGO. You are across the street from the Opera House. You are across the street from the uh, Toronto Courthouse and the City Hall. So who wouldn't like to be here? And to me, and that's the huge, huge balcony that you see here. It's 8 feet by 13 and a half feet. It's a long and narrow unit. Um, and, and the kitchen is beautifully built in lacquer, cabinets, built in everything. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. I would love to live here. This is the fridge here. There's the fridge door. Freezer is below. Uh, some storage here. That's your stove top. It's ceramic. Really, really sweet. Okay. Stove. I think that's a built-in microwave. I forget now. Okay. This here uh, will pop up. That's your... That's your uh, a fan, the hood fan. Okay, here's the bathroom. Oh yeah, so that piece you saw there was the the mirror for the bathroom. It's on. It's in now. Uh, they got the Drake. If you seen the Drake's uh, toilet, these are the Drake toilets, the the square ones. It's got a little. It's got a, a bathtub and it's got a stand up shower, which is really good. Okay, that's that's the tubs. Really cute. So if you are a visiting professional, if you are visiting. Um, you can see, can I zoom in here? Yeah, a little bit. So the quality, the quality is super. Okay. I've done a really nice job here. So if you're a visiting executive, you know, and this is your view, like straight up CN Tower, huge balcony. You basically you get up at five in the morning. That's what executives do. Uh, if you're a surgeon, you probably get up at 3 30 in the morning, and then you have your morning routine, and then you rush uh, up the street. You basically can walk up there, or maybe you go downstairs and take the subway somewhere, a couple short stops. Then you have your super, super busy day. Um, you're probably working your ass off straight up 12 hours. Then you have dinner with your colleagues, and then you come home to crash. So you want to be real close to work, especially if you're on call. you got to rush back to the emergency room or to your spot, whether it's the insurance company or government or something happened at the court. You know, so there you go. Uh, that's a stove, and that's probably a micro, a micro of sorts. Okay, this is the view. This is beautiful. It was a gorgeous day when we were there. Uh, you can see below here that studio condos. Look how small it looks comparing. Oh, that's the. Is this the studio? No, that's a studio. That's rich. That's 318 Richmond. It was the Joker Club, if you remember. One of those. Okay, and uh, here's by the water. So bathhouse will be down here. Um, that's that's the Humber. Okay, beautiful, 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 beautiful. Lots of light, lots of light. That's looking the other way left, which would be east because I'm facing south. So that's my view to the left, to the east. Sun all day. Uh, and you can see the beautiful reflection here. The reflection, because it's so bright, you get a lot of reflection. And the colors chosen for this unit are, are very good. Okay, that's another picture. And this is the flyer. So this unit is offered at 649.5, 488 University, direct subway access, rent to doctors and lawyers. If you want to buy this unit, it's an assignment. Um, ask me how to rent to doctors and lawyers. I've done it before. I'll tell you how to do it. And if you want to buy it and have me rent it for you, I will do it for you too. Uh, super finishes, Sky Club, Sky Lobby, that's what you saw. Security, pool, that's all on the, on the entry floor, the 19th. Property management available, that's separate of course and some information about the unit and some prices. Now, um, the unit's offer is $649.5. You're going to have to come up with about 20% of that uh, to come up. I'm going to go back to this picture. You're going to have to come up with about 20% of that uh, for the unit. Um, a little more, a little less, we can negotiate that. Remember, when you buy an assignment, you have to cover up for the original deposit that the, the purchaser uh, made, plus the profit, which is the difference between how much 
uh, the original purchaser paid for the unit to the developer and how much you're buying it from them. And those are negotiable. Some people are doing the assignments now, profit and deposit up front, but that creates a huge financial stress because not everyone has, you know, $200,000 or $250,000. So if you're mortgage worthy and you have the pre-approval available, and I remind you I'm a mortgage broker, I can do the check for you if you like. There's no cost to that. Um, we can make sure that you will uh, uh, be able to apply and get the mortgage for this unit as long as everything else checks out. Um, you'll be able to buy this unit. And the, the rents I see for this unit, the way I see this unit is renting, is I see it renting for about $5,000 a month. That's what I like to see this unit receive. And later on, I like to see it receiving $6,000 a month, which is $200 a night. So if you're looking at any hotel in the area that is worthy and you get a little suite, 500 square feet suite, even like a 300 uh, square feet suite, you're looking at $500 a night, okay? Plus all kinds of taxes, the secure... Um, Hotel tax and the HST, maybe you don't pay HST if you're in another country, I don't know, all that stuff. It's $500 a night. Uh, so for less than half or 40% of that $200 a night, you can have your own place uh, for you. Of course, the owner of the chain will have to furnish the unit, and these will be medium-term uh, rentals, ideally 6 to 12 months. 6 months is usually the minimum required uh, in the condo docs. And you really don't want to deal with like an Airbnb situation. And if you do, go ahead. I, I, I'm not going to comment on Airbnb and legality. This is something you have to do your ho homework for. Uh, I can only, of course, help you with things that are legit. Um, nonetheless, I think that at 5000 a month, it's very, very feasible for this unit. Okay, here's a, that's a render of the building. And 5000 a month, even if you only had the unit uh, available for 10 months of the year, and you used it for two months a year, or maybe it was uh, waiting for a tenant, or whatever it is, uh, that's still $50,000, fifty dollars to $60,000 um, a year potential rental income. That's what the lobby is going to look like. I showed you the picture. Uh, we walked through the lobby. It was still plain. Going back. There you go. So this will become this, okay, more or less. There you go. That's that's that line there probably. So that's what we're expecting to look. Here's a Rothko for you. Very, very nice. <laughs> and the pool, by the way, the amenities are behind here to my right. You come in here, you take the elevator up, and then the other side, that's where the pool is. They're working on it uh, when we're walking in. So to get something like, Four or five, six thousand dollars for the unit uh, per month for six months. Not a big deal, in my opinion. I think very, very feasible because there's a shortage of, and I showed you there's a huge shortage of good quality modern buildings in this area. There's a lot of people working here, thousands and thousands working in these giant towers and the hospitals, of course, and the insurance companies and, and all these, but. Not a lot of condos, very few, comparing to other areas, right? Like, and and if you're working here and you're making a million dollars a year, you definitely don't want to live that far. You don't want to live a city place. You don't want to be here. You want to be right there, right here. You want to have great view. You want to have the best of the best. You want to have everything proper. So this building, the quality is phenomenal. And this unit is offered at $1,200 a foot. Or across the street at 481, where this will come up, you're already paying eighteen dollar, eighteen hundred a foot for the small units, something like that, about eight hundred to eight hundred fifty thousand for the same size that we're offering for about two hundred thousand less. Crazy, huh? Well, that's what it is. The original purchaser, you know, they're already they're happy with the profit they're making, and they're releasing it to the market at a reasonable price, which is twelve hundred a foot. Mind you, all the new construction you buy now. They're already 13, 14, 1600 a foot. You can't even get anything for 1200 a foot this area. You really do have to pay in the 18 range. 2000 in Yorkville. Even resales on Bay Street will cost you more. So because it's an assignment, it's new, um, we're going to let it go at that price. So that is 488, 488 University assignment. There are other units, by the way. There are uh, two bedrooms in a million to a million two range. Larger units, uh, not much of a smaller units, but all units. This will be the cheapest unit in the building. 
will be in this range of 649.5, okay? And it'll go from up from there. This is the view you're getting, huge balcony, lots of light, really good product. So if you're interested in this one or interested in learning more or you like to know more or you like to ask me to assess your assignment, you bought something or you think you're going to buy something or you want to buy something, give me a call, Yossi Kaplan, yossikaplan.com, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan, Toronto Real Estate Agent, Mortgage Broker, Research Realty, and Search Mortgage. Thank you very much. That's it for today.